Carlos, do I need a colorimeter? Can I calibrate my monitor by eye? Mm. Yes. Wait, I wasn't done. Really? There's more to it than that. Welcome to the Visual Center. I'm Carlos, and it's here we talk all about photography and visual art. While it's true that there are other methods for calibrating your monitor that don't require a device, there are some limitations that come with those methods. Most operating systems will come with some kind of manual calibration. And there's also websites that you can go to that will have color charts and instructions to help you manually calibrate your monitor. However, there are some biological limitations that you need to keep in mind. And to understand those, we need to first understand how the human eye sees color. When we look at an object, what we are actually seeing is reflectance. White light, which is all the colors, will hit the object and the object will absorb some of the color wavelengths and it will reject the others. The rejected colors are the ones that travel to our eyes. Now when the lights come into our eyes, there are special cells that fire to tell our brains what colors we are seeing. These cells are called rods and cones. Rods react more in dim or low light, while cones respond to brighter light and are the primary source for how we see color. Most of us will typically have three types of cones sensitive to three different ranges of wavelengths. Generally speaking, they are red, green, and blue. With about six million cones in our eyes, the combinations of these three colors allows us to see every color in the visual spectrum. Now, what does this have to do with calibration? Well, understanding this helps us understand the limitations our eyes have for manually calibrating your monitor. First off, Studies have shown that 8% of men and 1% of women have some form of color deficiency. This can affect your calibration. If you want to find out you have a color deficiency, try taking x rights online color challenge. It'll give you some swatches of color to move around. And at the end, it'll give you a score and let you know if you're deficient in any particular color. I'll put this link to it in the description below, and I'd love to hear what score you get. Post that in the comments. There are a number of factors that can affect the way we see color. Studies have shown that sleep and mood can also affect our color perception. But one of the biggest factors is something called color fatigue. We know that when light enters our eyes, the photoreceptors known as cones will tell our brains what colors we are seeing. Color fatigue is when our eyes are bombarded with a particularly bright color for an extended period of time. When this happens, the cones that are sensitive to that wavelength of light can go into fatigue and temporarily shut down. Let me show you an example. Take the next 30 seconds and stare at this shape. You can blink if you need to, but try not to look away. Now when I take the shape away, I want you to look at something white. For most of you, you would have seen a faint cyan version of the shape. What happened was I bombarded your eyes with red light in the shape of that triangle. And the cones in your eyes that are associated with red light went into fatigue and shut down temporarily. When you looked at something white, white light came into your eyes, but the red cones were fatigued and not working. White light is the combination of the red, green, and blue. The absence of red from green and blue makes cyan. This happens to us all the time on our computers. When we're exposed to flashy colors for a long period of time, our eyes go into color fatigue, which can affect your calibration, especially if you have these flashy colors on, say, your wallpaper, or one of your other apps is open while you're trying to calibrate. Your eyes can go into color fatigue and you'll get an inaccurate calibration. Now another factor that can affect the way you see color is something called surrounding color. Let's take these two guys for example. They're the exact same shade of red. But if you surround each of them with a different shade of red, they appear to be different from each other. This is what's called surrounding color. Colors, when they sit next to each other, can affect the way our eyes perceive them. 
So you can see there's a number of things that can affect the way that you see color. So yes, it is true that you can manually calibrate your monitor, but for best results, you wanna let a device do it. If you have any questions about calibration or color management, put them in the comments below, and we'd be happy to help you understand this topic more. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next video. Are you gonna? Yes, you can end it now.